So let me just, so now the people who are anchors of our pretend lefty news shows today, I would say the people on MSNBC and right. what have you. Uh, they, who had come me from, one, they had me once. Yeah, yeah. Once. But they would tell, they wouldn't take the, they take those jobs telling themselves, I'm guessing the lie, that, well, if I, I'm going to do the best I can. Like, you could have told yourself that lie. Well, I'll stay working at the New York Times, and I'll be as anti-war as is possible inside this system. And if I wasn't here, there'd be nobody pushing, right? So right. that's, you think that's what they tell themselves, the people who work for the corporation, who push the wars, and who uh, trash the progressive politics? Uh, uh, some of them. And the others are just craven careerists. Yeah. Most people at the inception of the call to invade Iraq, uh, you know, George Packer at the New Yorker, these kinds of figures who are running around being Bush's cheerleaders for the war, they knew what was good for their... I mean, this is what the liberal class, that's why traditionally the capitalist elites allow liberal liberals around, because they set the parameters of acceptable debate and and they serve as the attack dogs against those who question the motives and the values of the ruling elite. And when you question the motives and values of the ruling elite, you are immediately pushed out. And the way that you are discredited is by those figures within the society who hold themselves up as the moral voice of society. Chomsky writes very well about this. I wrote a book called Death of the Liberal Class, but almost everything I know or, or understand about the liberal establishment comes from Nome. But that's their role. And, uh, and I think a lot of them are careerists, are, are kind of very cynical, and, I, and probably you're right. A lot of them tell themselves, better me than... I don't know, Stephen Miller or something. Right, right. 